y'all. Thanks for joining me. So real quick, I wanted to show you the dried results of the painting that I did for Dustin and Elizabeth. Here it is. If you didn't see that video, it's the video that was right before this one. I'd love for you to check it out. Look at that. So much shimmer to this. Can have that sparkles too. I can't wait to see what this looks like with a coat of resin on it because it already still has so much shimmer to it. And I love, don't know if you can see it. Where did it go? Well, here's part of it. The pastel -y colors that you see in the painting too. All right. Well, there's that. So uh, we'll get back with the video for today. So I'll be right back. Hey y'all. Thanks for joining me again. So yesterday I did a painting for my youngest son, Dustin and his wife, Liz. And today I'm going to be doing one for my oldest son, David, and for his wife, Maya. So I'm going to lay it down the same way. So I'll go from here up and down with one of the colors and then the next one I'll come down here and then go up here and I alternate them back and forth between their four top favorite colors. That way on one side will be one of their favorite colors, on the other side will be the other one's favorite colors, and in between will be both of their favorite colors intermingled. So that represents their lives before they got married, and then their lives once they got married and the two became one. So I am going to use Titanium White by Master's Touch for the base. And then I will use Iridescent Fancy Black by Arteza. This actually has gold in it too, makes it really pretty. And then Metallic Blue by Artist's Loft. When I asked my son what were his top four favorite colors, his response was sending me four pictures of metallic painted cars. So all of his are either metallic or I have one extreme glitter that's his. Then it'll be Turkish Teal by Deco Art. This is a patio paint. Such a beautiful, beautiful teal color. Then Extreme Glitter Emerald by Folk Art. Cerulean Blue by Artists Loft. Metallic Copper by Artists Loft. Extreme Glitter Jelly Bean Pink by Folk Art. And Metallic Ruby by Rust Oleum. Now, since this one is a Rust Oleum, I cannot torch it. And so I'm going to try to remember to lay down all of the other colors and then torch them and then put this one on the top afterwards. And then if there's any bubbles from this one, I'll just have to pop them with a toothpick. So I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, the canvas is flooded, the bubbles are torched. Over here, it looked like I had all kinds of little tiny bubbles and I was thinking that's the weirdest looking thing. But then I tried to torch it again and they didn't torch away. And so then I tried taking my tweezers to it, but 
there was hardly any paint there and so I think it was actually the canvas that I was seeing but it looked different than when I usually see the canvas and so that's why it was confusing me but anyway so it's taken care of now I'm gonna start with the iridescent fancy black so I will start it right here then it is going to go up to right about there hope that's right eh, it's a little it's a little close in or yeah a little close to the edge but okay so I'll do that that way it's pretty equal distance anyway okay so now we go from this one to that one and to that one. Now just a little bit more. Once I get the first color down, it's pretty easy to follow for the rest of them, but it's getting the initial ones down that is a little bit trickier. Not too bad. So this is the fourth one that I have made for one of my children. Okay, this is metallic blue. So if you'd like to see the other ones, if you haven't seen them, check out my three previous videos. And you can see the ones that I did for each of them. I also have one that I made for my nephew and his wife. It was actually the third painting I had ever made. But unfortunately, I did not get that on video. But in my, I think it's my second video where I do resining. Um, I show that because I actually put resin on that one in that one so if you want to see what that one looks like you can check out that video and then I did one of these for a couple from my church but if you'd like to look at any of those I will put links in the description so that you can check those out Okay, this one is Extreme Glitter Emerald, and it's kind of gloopy. I really do enjoy making these. you have somebody that's going to be getting married or somebody who's having an anniversary that you want to get them a special gift, you can contact me at TammyVonArt at gmail.com and have a special piece customized for them. And this one's the cerulean blue. Uh, not sure if I need just a little more of that or not. Yeah, I think I'll put just a little bit more. Sometimes I think there's a fine line between not having enough and having too much, so. Okay, and this is the copper. Oh, that's so pretty. And then the jelly bean pink with the metallics and the extreme glitters that are in this it is going to be so shimmery and so sparkly it's going to be very very pretty okay and I almost forgot as soon as I saw that one to pick it up I remembered oh yeah I got a torch before I put that one down so Okay, 
now I'll lay the last color down, the Metallic Ruby by Rust-Oleum. All right. Okay, I need to check and make sure that I don't have any bubbles that need to be popped from the Rust-Oleum. Most of it looks pretty good right here. Okay, here we go. It looks like there's one right there. Some of it, I think that there's bubbles that are coming up to the surface from before. Okay, well, that's good enough. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna blow down and then I will alternate. So let's get this going. This is so beautiful. Look at all of those cells that are popping up everywhere. Oh, this is so pretty. Now see, one of the things is, since this one was a little bit too far to the edge, I didn't have quite as much room to blow this one out as I did this one, but it is still so beautiful. I am going to touch up my edges. I don't want to blow anything out at all. If I had done anything, it would have been this just a little bit, but I don't want to mess up any of those cells because those are beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I just love this one. All right. I am going to scrape my edges. Always make sure that you scrape your drips because you don't want it pulling off the composition on the top as it's pulling it down. So always, always make sure you do that. Just as simple as doing that. All right, here comes the close-up. 
here it is look at this oh it is gorgeous I love it I have really enjoyed doing all four of these for my kids and their spouses and I love how each of these is so different just like each of them are and they're all so beautiful in their own right Those cells are so pretty. There is so much shimmer and sparkle to this painting. Look at those cells. Oh, wow. I mean, there's so many of them, it almost looks like there's cells upon cells upon cells. <laughs> Get all of that sparkle. Okay, I'm going to shut the overheads off and we'll look at it with just the flash on. Wow, look at that. So with all of those metallics, just look at how they are playing off of each other. So pretty. And I'm really happy that I did that test on the Rust-Oleum to find out that as long as it wasn't heated up, that it would blow out beautifully so otherwise I would not have had this really beautiful color in there So beautiful. So if you like these, I hope you will join me for tomorrow's video because I am going to do something really special. So I hope that you will tune in. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. When you do that, it helps my videos spread to more people. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to become one of my newest subscribers. And if you hit that notification bell, it will let you know as soon as I put up a new video. Thank you to all of my current subscribers. Thanks for all of your support. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye, and God bless.